How's it going? Because I'm here back with another GTA 5 video, and I'm actually teaching you guys how to do something. This is going to be a tutorial video, as you can see in the title. It'll be how to do well import export, really. As you can see, I'm in my daughter right now, um, and I'm actually making a course on um, GTA 5, so you might want to watch this before you know I um, start uh, an online business and charge people for it. That's kind of satirical but kind of not at the same time if it actually works out then I might I might actually do this but you never know um right now I'm going to get my plates changed changed if kind of English um it's because there's vodka no there's dead, dead OYT at the moment because my old plates I had a use up on everything but I need to change those I accidentally shot a missile fuck off um yep there we go so we go come over here better change my what can the Plate. best mechanic in LS do for you? Um, with the $95 damage and $190 for my app order. Thank you very much. Okay. There we go. It glitches out of this all the time, honestly. I don't know my pant, it was so much worse, don't know why. Anyway, so, yep, we're just going to our. Um, office right now, to show you guys how to do this. Alright, so first things first, you want to go onto your phone, um, go to Dynasty 8, it might be on the front page, if it's not, then just go on to, I believe it's Money and Services, Dynasty 8 Real Estate, then you want to go onto Dynasty 8 Executive, because this is real estate here, this is Executive for Offices, and if you don't already have one, just buy an, buy an office. Maze Bank West is the cheapest one, I highly recommend that. Long Bank is 3.1 mil, um, the um, Maze Bank Tower is 4 mil, and the Arcadius Business Center is 2.25 mil. But Maze Bank is about a mil, I believe, so that's good. And then we go into our office once you purchase it. That's all you really need to do. It will do your setup screen and everything, it will ask you what you want on this and that and another. Um, but yeah, so you load in. Ding! Yep. So you load in with your character, you see your you need, person here, your assistant, and you come over here. Um, you run over to your desk here. You can have a look around if you want first, but yeah, you run over to your desk over here. Um, you sit down, you know, your normal stuff. You'll log in. And then, boom. So you've got special cargo, vehicle cargo, special vehicle work. Special cargo, very unprofitable. I've earned a total of $1 million out of this, which is a quite a lot of money, but when you think about it, that's really not very good. Um, special vehicle work is for, spe well, special vehicle work, you basically can get tried prices on vehicles from War Stock Cash and Carry for um, doing these missions. Um, for and then the main one we're focusing on is vehicle cargo. So, what you want to do is you'll start out on this page as far as I'm aware. Um, if we go to all, so it won't show just mine, it will show you all the vehicle warehouses you can buy. Mine right here, La Mesa, is 1.5 million dollars. Um, and this is the one you really want to, use, to buy. It's in a decent place, and um, this is the tutorial I'm going to be doing is how to sell from here. Anyway, so. Um, you go onto your pay summary page, you want to sort a vehicle, and you want to confirm your vehicle. As you can see real quick, 100 VFD vehicles is exported, 100% success rate, by the way. Total of $15.5 million made from this. But yeah, so source vehicle, confirm your vehicle that you want to source, and you'll, you'll, the chances are you all of us will be standard or mid-range, but you want to source as many standard or mid-range cars until you get to top range, because um, if you don't sell them then, um, until you get the top range ones, and only sell the top range ones, it means you'll be guaranteed top every time. It's a little trick that you do, because it'll always try and balance it out. Um, so, you know, you'll probably have about near enough 20 vehicles um, that are standard or mid-range before you get top range, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about the damages, just trying to keep the damage as minimal as possible. Right, so, we look for where it is. It's here, and it looks parked. It might not be. There are a couple of different things that can happen. You could you could pick it up, deliver it, perfectly fine. 
you could it could be protected it, it doesn't have to be um, alone just sitting there it could be have a bomb on it which you have to keep above a certain speed limit for or um, you could get your four waves of enemies um, four waves it's always four waves whenever you're doing this if enemies come after you always be four waves um, you want to park this car on the side of the roads um, if you do get those four waves of enemies um, but yeah so that's all you really need to do and then sideways and just you know float out of there no, that, that, not sideways I wanted you to float for a reason I wanted you to stop being sideways oh my god and don't sure go ahead you do that alright raise that line so you grab the car and it has a bomb in it you have to keep above speed when the bomb activates, otherwise it will explode. And you have to keep above that speed for a certain amount of time, unless it will, otherwise it will explode. So, let's try this. Alright, so you've got two minutes of this mess. Being ca driving carefully has not damaged the car too much, but also driving fast enough to keep it above the speed limit. It's a lot of effort. The easiest way to do this is probably on the eastern highway, which is where I am heading. No, so I'm actually heading. To, yeah, I'm heading to the eastern highway. Eastern or western? Preferably eastern though. Um, keep your um, vehicle warehouse marked. I recommend doing um, vehicle warehouse. Keep that marked so you know how far away you are at all times and you know how difficult it's going to be to get there from where you are. Again, so we just park this up here, and boom, we're in. There you go. And that's how you deserve for a vehicle with phone smart forty nine hundred dollars damages. All right, so here what we are doing is we are collecting a second car because I don't want to deliver the Roosevelt Valor, and because well I already um, you know did this, so I'm just going to be showing you this. This is one is a stealth one. As you can see, I have to take out the guards to find the electronic key for the car, and I, I recommend doing is using a stealth pistol to, as to avoid any tension careful headshot him and boom there we go um and lucky for me it was the first guy that had the key first guy um which is extremely lucky because normally you'll be having to go through many guards to get over there make sure you're sneaking as to avoid any tension again because if you run the chance star you'll attract a lot of tension and they'll be on your ass um so grab the car um and then they'll stop actually caring about you again and this way you won't have the four waves of enemies that we discussed earlier um so yep you just drive it out and that's pretty much it um uh, yeah like i said that's pretty much it that's all you have to do is just grab the car and drive it out all right so what you want to do here is you go over to your um computer in your warehouse this is inside once you've delivered your car you go onto your computer and you want once you've built up a large collection as you can see i have a large collection of standard and mid-range cards that's what you want first because that means you're guaranteed high-end cars every time then you get your high-end car and as you can see it says 40 grand commission that's not actually right what you do is you go into export then your commission offer that goes to the bottom one 100 grand um that's what you'll get for it you'll have to spend 20 grand on upgrades but that's okay you don't have to worry about that this you can do as fast as possible, you get rid of the tracker, you put um, one customization on each, so respray, make that chrome, um, performance upgrades, yes, and then this because it's um, the, uh, what's it called, um, thing you upgrade, your visual, just change something, I'm going to change those to stock lights, um, uh, no, bodywork, that's what it was called, and then wheels, just change those to stock and then go off that, boom, you're done. I just want to say here, as if it wasn't entirely obvious, is what I meant by one customization on each is one visual customization on each in each section. So, for example, the sh chassis for this, you can't do the horn because it's not visual. Um, you can do lights, livery, spoiler, windows, any of those are good, but because it's only visual customizations in each category, just the lights will do. Um, the horn won't be able to work, just in case you wanted to know. I can do that in about 10-15 seconds, went on the car, because 
it's really easy. So here what you have to do is, it's pretty pretty quick, um, if there's someone in your session don't worry about it, just race to the okay, end. Um, um, if there isn't anyone in your session, this is where you have to be careful. So, there are two directions you can go here, I'll show you one on the screen right now. But, as you can see there's no one in my session, so I just park up right here. And here come the enemies. Don't worry about how many times you die, it doesn't matter. Now, all that matters is that you keep the car safe. Wow. Ow, I died. Um, just keep doing this. You know, just go ahead. Rush through it. Go, don't care about how many times you die, just do it over and over again. There are four waves of enemies, that's what you have to worry about. Just count your waves. So, this is wave number one. Using a gun without recoil is nice, so a suppressed um, special carbine Mark II with the grip on it, it's perfect. If you don't have Mark II, it's fine, as long as it's special carbine with grip, probably one of the best. It's also great with a suppressor on it, because it's nice and quiet for your stealth box. That's 4 5 done, and now we just run. That's all you have to already do. If you have anyone that it's not as well as it, any more than 10 grand, definitely just destroy the car. There's no point the amount that you're getting out of it. I just want to say in editing here by what I mean by um, destroy it, I mean if it's more than $10,000 when you're stealing a car, destroy it. Don't do it if you're delivering it because then you'll have wasted your 20 grand instead of getting out your, you know, 80, no, 90 grand out of it. Just um, keep your car if you're delivering it, blow it up at 10 grand if you're stealing it. Try not to get into the air, otherwise you can't control your car, that's another big thing that I always forget about. Alright, so right here I'm showing you how to do the second route that I didn't show you before, you just park up over here. And uh, unfortunately for me, I didn't see this guy on the map, um, and I was confused, like, where was he? And then, lucky for me, he didn't shoot me. Well, lucky for me. Um, but yeah, so then they just went down there. Um, that's the best place to park, and then they normally funnel down through there. If they don't, just go on to the other side and you can shoot them. Again, don't worry about how many times you die. But that's it. That's the shit. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this little tutorial, this is just me messing around, uh, you know, with AI going crazy, <laughs> you know, nothing new, uh, it's Los Santos and GTA after all, um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, that's just the basics, like I said, I'm going to start a course on this pretty soon, and it's going to be pretty simple, it's just going to be teaching people how to do stuff in GTA, how to make money, how to do everything legitimately and easily, and you know, very quickly. And build up uh, their income to a point where I have um, worth 160 million dollars total income. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.